For many children and their parents, early traumatic stress reactions get better over the first month. But about one in six still have traumatic stress reactions that bother them, even six months after an injury. Let's look at this simple graph. The normal response to trauma looks like this. Nearly everyone feels upset or anxious early on, but over the next few weeks and months, these reactions get weaker and then go away. Even children recovering from serious injuries start to develop ways to cope. But for some people, these early reactions just don't seem to get better as the months go by, or they may even get worse. Even if the physical injury is healed, they may not have recovered from the trauma. Remember, the intensity and length of the traumatic stress reactions is not related to how bad the physical injury was. When traumatic stress reactions last for weeks or months, they can get in the way of getting back to normal and feeling like yourself again. For children and teens, this can affect school, home, and play. Schoolwork and learning might be disrupted because a child can't concentrate or sleep well. Family relationships and friendships might suffer. Children may stop doing things they enjoy or stop trying new things. Post-traumatic stress disorder is the name given to traumatic stress reactions that are so severe that they get in the way of normal life and that last for more than one month. It's important to know if your child or someone else in your family develops post-traumatic stress disorder from the accident or injury. It's much more common than people realize up to one in 10 people develop post-traumatic stress disorder at some point in their lives. After an injury, post-traumatic stress disorder can get in the way of physical recovery. It can contribute to new medical problems or just make it harder to enjoy life. The good news is that very good treatments for post-traumatic stress disorder are available. Unfortunately, less than half of people with traumatic stress symptoms talk to anyone about their problems or get any professional help, even when their symptoms go on for a long time. This website will help you know when to reach out for help.